it was Mario's 35th anniversary and Nintendo released some special stuff including Mario 35, the great online game, Mario 3D All-Stars for the Switch, um, and a port of, um, yes, another <laughs> Wii U port of Super Mario World, um, 3D World, um, uh, yes, and on the Switch it was called Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Furry, I thought at first it said Bowser's furry like a little you know furry mario kitten um but no of course it was bowser's fury and i guess he'll be furious if i said that to him <laughs> and um there was supposed to be a mario kinder i don't know what happened with that i didn't personally see one in my area have you did you see a mario kinder let me know um and last but not least the wonderful Mario Game and Watch, yes, the Game and Watch re-release. Um, I went mental when I first saw it, and yeah, I went ahead and I pre-ordered it um, for nearly fifty quid. I won't. I don't want to talk about how much it's, it is worth now, but yeah, um, these were kind of overproduced later. But yeah, fifty quid. <laughs> the best part of fifty quid. Um, I was very excited to see this though. The Game and Watch was my first introduction, as um, it may be for many other people as well, um, to Nintendo. Okay, so I'll tell you a little story, a quick story. So when I was about five years old, um, I was playing in the park near near the slides and swings, and another kid came up to me and showed me his game and watch and asked me if I play Nintendo 2. I didn't know what it was at the time and I remember it I remember it had a double screen though and I don't exactly um what gate remember what game it was though. Um but however about a year later <laughs> I was at my grandma's house and I saw my uncle um connect something to the TV and my mind was blown when I saw the screen. It was like a cartoon you could control. And ever since then I was a fan. Yeah, and that first game was Super Mario Brothers. Um, the first um, su nin um, the first Nintendo video game I ever saw. Super Mario Brothers. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah. And after that I most definitely knew what a Nintendo was. And Nintendo was all the rage. I'll tell you another quick story. So when I was back in primary school, a friend of mine excitedly showed me his game and watch, his Mario game and watch. It was the blue one, the blue and white one. And he said um, a week later he's going to get another one. And sure thing, um, the following week he came in wearing his Mario Brothers 3 game and watch. And then yeah, everyone was surrounding him in the playground. We took turns playing it. It was a lot of fun. Um, I personally never had a Game & Watch when I was a kid, but I do appreciate its history and where it comes from. It's absolutely, it's absolutely a beautiful, it's a beautiful device, absolutely. Um, now, years later, you know, I can own an actual Game & Watch myself. Um, and when I said I went mental earlier, I wasn't kidding because I bought two. One to play, and one to keep sealed. I absolutely love the packaging, the way it looks and the way it feels. They kept collectors in mind because they gave it kind of like a protective case. Um, yeah, this one of course is sealed, um, but yeah, they gave it a nice um, protective case here. Um, maybe Nintendo kept collectors in mind knowing that Nowadays, we use these things to preserve our packaging, these um, game protectors, and it's made from something very similar to that. However, this has a very cool overlay. So when you um, remove this outer sleeve, you see a different design, like the plain cup and ball <laughs> um, game and watch. 
and then put it back on and you're back in the, the mushroom kingdom here um absolutely amazing I've got a yep it talks about the ac adapter instruct some instructional advice there and at the back it's just as beautiful there we've got king bowser king cooper i still say king cooper this is still got its this wasn't from argos i thought only argos did put those stickers on this came directly from nintendo okay interesting yeah and the device itself is a very nice premium quality nice metal on the front here good solid plastic um, LCD screen is nice better than the ones uh, made by at games that's for sure it's got um, of course the watch because it is a game and watch and you just press the time um, here we go and it just changes the design you know the level design I like I like these these remind me of sweet strawberry and or raspberry uh, fruit salad if you remember these old sweets they remind me of fruit salads they're yellow and red <laughs> and they've got fruit flavor nice um funny enough these um bricks they don't remind me of chocolate biscuits they <laughs> these remind me of ginger biscuits by mcvitties and we've got good old lucky two there and a spiny yeah beautiful beautiful watch here um and then we've got the most important well the games haven't we we've got a the classic Super Mario Brothers here. Um, and then we've got Super Mario Brothers 2. The actual Super Mario Brothers 2. We know about this story, right? You know. So, yeah, the Lost Levels. Um, if you're familiar with Super Mario All-Stars. And then the Cup and Ball game. The basic nice couple Cup and Ball game there. I really love the finish on this and how it shines like this it's just like it's really really nice um one oh yeah it's charges up by a USB-C so you don't need to replace the batteries um, and I think they could have improved it just a little bit by having like um a little metal thing or a little thing that you can pull out and have it stand up um, but there's ways around that though so um you know it's slides and seesaws really isn't it yeah um but yeah very very happy with it um the emulation is great as well really convenient you can just keep it in your breast pocket and you can just pull out super mario whenever you fancy it you know waiting for a bus waiting for an uber you know um to conveniently and yeah conveniently and quickly get your fix of super mario I believe at the same time as well that's when nintendo started releasing uh, the nintendo lego um so they had basically a big um lego nes ness with a with a crt tv not a real crt tv but a lego tv and um they released um, a mario figure lego figurine as well who would interact with that playset absolutely brilliant Mario merchandise madness. And then about a year later, we got Zelda Game & Watch. Absolutely beautiful. Again, beautiful box, that premium quality feel um, with the screen protector thing. And I really like this design. It reminds me of the plants on the water stage of, of Super Mario Brothers. I don't know, I've just always noticed that. They look similar, but yeah, um, beautiful design. You know, you've got your, it says color screen here. I think they've adjusted the language, right? Um, Game Boy Color, C-O-L-O-R, um, had the same spelling in America and um, Europe. And I think, I need to double check this, but I think the American version has C, yeah, C-O-L-O-R. So... Yeah, um, slight regional differences there. Um, but of course, as with all of them, you don't get an AC adapter. Okay. Uh, you get your little USB-C uh, cable. So let's open this one. Oh, uh, I haven't opened it all the way. It's still got its seal stuck there. Um, I 
think it says thanks to you, but I think that might be on the other side. Thanking the customer. Thanking the customer. And it comes with a very nice inside, um, yeah, box insert with a little trifles there. And that's probably the USB-C cable. And then the, the game, obviously, the Game & Watch came in this. And this, as I was saying, um, with the Mario one, um, it'd be nice if we had a little kickstand. Well, they didn't do that, but they done this instead, which is still very nice. I don't want to use it. I just don't want to destroy the packaging. Um, I think we can sneak a peek there. It is the USB. See, charger, it would be. What else would it be? Unless it's a real trifle, so I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not opening it. Um, that's fine. Yeah. Um, this is very nice if you want to use it like that um, because it is a watch. Um, it would be cool if it was an alarm clock. So I'm thinking of all these extra things. And, but um, no, it's, it's um, perfect as it is. Um, so yeah, we've got this instruction booklet here. I think it was about the same price. I did not get this one directly from Nintendo though. I got this from Amazon. Um, yeah. And let's look at the time. Like the Mario one, it randomizes, I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. Doesn't look like it does. Oh, but there you get some Zelda action there. That Zelda dungeon action. <laughs> um, let's look at it again. Yeah, and then. The games, the beautiful games. So you've got different languages as well. Um, nice options there. Well, you've got English and I believe that's Japanese. There we go. So you, of course you've got a Zelda, the first Zelda, the golden cart Zelda. Beautiful. First golden cart I ever saw. Pop that in the Nintendo. Um, I thought, wow, this is a golden cart. And then I actually sat down and played. I was only about six. I didn't have much. Um, I didn't have much of an intent attention span. I just wanted to bam, 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 play the game. I didn't have the patience. I didn't have the patience to play Zelda when I was young. But um, as I grew older, I appreciate Zelda very much, and I really enjoy it now. Um, and then Zelda Two, the two D version, we know that. And then, amazingly, we have Link's Awakening. I never really heard of this before and i haven't played of it uh, played it before um but i started playing it with this game and watch i was introduced to this game with this game and watch and it is absolutely beautiful it is a wonderful game of course you've got the settings there you can stretch the screen i personally prefer the screen stretched but other people like different flavors you know um i like the full flavor um, I can see why you would have it the other way, but, um, that's how I prefer it. And then, yeah, um, wonderful top down game here. Nice little addition. And then we have our lovely, it's like a whack-a-mole game. <laughs> you know, you got a whack -em as well. Yeah. Nice little addition there. A lot of fun. A lot of fun packed into this small thing. They could have packed in more, um, really. But they didn't. Um, I haven't played with this that much, to be honest. Oh, look, a timer. Nice timer. Stopwatch. It would be cool if they added an alarm. Um, but, yeah, that's absolutely fine. What else? Oh, yeah, um... As I didn't play it much, I didn't pay attention to the back much. I mean, I love the colour green. This is a beautiful colour green. Um, but <laughs> after watching an awesome video by an awesome YouTuber, I noticed he pointed out that you get the freaking Triforce on the back. Let me dim the light a bit. And this really shows up much better in a darker light. Let me try and... There we go. So I've dimmed the lights a bit and we can see this beautiful trifles. I never knew about that. I learned about that recently. And it's absolutely fucking adds. Oh, it adds to the freaking value. It's absolutely brilliant. I, I love that. I love that. That's amazing. Yeah, and the same premium quality feel. Nice D-pad. Same with the, Nint uh, the Mario one. They're all Nintendo. And yep, 
it's slightly curved in a bit here. Um, green buttons for Zelda? No, it's fine. I think the green trim is um, is fine. Let's get the lights back on. So yeah, um, I really became a Zelda fan after um, playing Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, that was an amazing game. An amazing game. Um, and... However, I didn't go all out on this. I didn't go absolutely mental. Um, I only bought one of these. I didn't buy one to keep later and sealed. Um, it's, I'm happy with this. And um, I think I think the prices have dropped because Nintendo did make a lot of these. Um, I think at the time, Amazon, it was about 40 or 50 pounds. Um, and this one I paid the best part of 50 pounds. But I mean, is it worth it? I mean, for the price back then, maybe not, maybe not. But now, I mean, I think they've, they've dropped now to about 35, 30 pounds. I'd, I'd definitely say if you love Mario or you love Zelda, oh, it's worn out a bit there. I played this one a lot, kept it in my pocket, carried it around with me. This one um, didn't play as much. As I said, it is worth it. If you love Zelda, you love Mario, you want to play them on the run. Especially with today's prices, it has dropped. Um, who knows, it might spike up later. I, you don't know. I don't know. Um, these are beautiful little devices. Super convenient. Quick fix way. Quick way to get a quick fix of your, your Zeldas and your Marios. And um, yeah, I don't have a, another sealed one of these. But I do have this little tin of Link. Very nice, very cute. I've also got this Mario pullback car. <laughs> Let's go! Three, two, one. 